Hey guys, it's Phoenix Automotive here again, and in this video, we're going to be going over a bug issue we have with the uh, Silverado GMC Sierra. Uh, the issue is, you guys install the unit, and there's no touch on the factory AC, I mean, I'm sorry, the factory UI. Now, if you have this problem, it's maybe because uh, when you're doing the install, you had the door open, uh, or maybe the battery was not uh, disconnected. So, we have this issue right here where it's not touching. Uh, there are different scenarios on how to on why this happens, but how to fix it is what you need to do is first uh, shut the car off and then open the door, close the door. After you close the door, you're gonna lock the doors. Now, right now my gauge cluster is on currently and maybe your needle might be a little bit higher, but we're gonna wait till it turns off all the way. So the gauge cluster turned off all the way. We have to wait for this unit to turn off all the way. Once this unit turns off all the way and everything, right now my door is locked, the gauge cluster is off. How you tell if the gauge cluster is off if every all the lights are off? I still see that. See, that one just turned off. Maybe the needle might be a little bit higher. Just wait for that to go all the way down and this unit should turn off. We're going to wait a sec, wait for the unit to turn off. When the unit does turn off all the way, you're just going to, right now I'm sitting in the car, we're going to put the key in and turn on the ignition. So let's give it a sec. Now that the unit is totally off, uh, we could actually press some buttons to make sure. So I'm just going to give it a few more seconds just to make sure it's fully off. And I do see the gauge cluster is off. I did hear a click, so maybe something did shut off. So I'm waiting for maybe like 30 seconds. Now that the unit is off, when we turn on the vehicle with the engine ignition, you should have the unit boot up. So you can see we have the Chevrolet MyLink. And this is the initial boot up. So once this boots up, I should theoretically be able to touch it. And now touch works. So if you have an issue where you're doing the initial setup or like it happens where this touch does not work, it's a bug issue with the unit not making a complete handshake with our vehicle or with your vehicle. So that's how to fix that bug. Turn off the vehicle, uh, open, close the door, lock the doors and wait for everything to shut off completely. These gauge clusters need to be lights off. This unit needs to be off. And now we have touch control. Uh, stay tuned for the next video and hopefully it'll be a new unit, an install how-to video and other bug issue fixes. Thank you guys for watching. Bye guys.